makes this so great. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Brentwood Beauty Buzz. We're Welcome. Ready. Welcome. We Welcome. don't have Dr. Iman today. She um, is not in today, but we'll have her back next week. Hi, Dr. Iman. Maybe Hi. you're watching. I don't think she can because she has an appointment. But hi hello how are you i'm good, good. good. you are it's very I'm hot good. it's hot it's really hot and you know somebody said to me the other day I'm like, it's so hot and they went caroline it's summer and yes. i said and it's this is not summer this is no. an oven it's, it's an oven. crazy we have 18 fires oh right now going yes in horrible california yes 18. i mean we've got firefighters coming from all over the place thank you firefighters Seriously, a yeah. huge thank you to you because this is crazy. It's yeah. a crazy world right now. So we're very grateful that we have so many dedicated, wonderful people helping us. All right, hi, Leanna. <laughs> well, hello. So thank we you for have. Joining us. What are we talking about this? today? Is my favorite subject. Yes. Yay. What? Facials. Facials. Woo! Woo! Skincare. <laughs> Skincare. Pigmentation. Yep. Acne. Uh, front treatment. Wish the heat doesn't help with pigmentation, but no, we're, we'll, no. we'll get back does into it. Not. But, um, if you have any questions, please wait. ask us. Our wonderful ladies here will let us know and we can answer them. Your providers can answer them. These are your providers. You are lucky every Thursday. I'm sorry, that sounds really big headed, but I mean it. <laughs> every Thursday, when we come to you live at 10.30, these are your providers. If you have a question or there's something you've ever wanted to ask, please ask us. They would love to tell you. They are a plethora of knowledge and they will be able to tell you anything you want to know regarding beauty. Now you can ask anything else. Me. Because you, you are. So you're an encyclopedia. Of your we love each other. Yeah, we love each other. <laughs> okay. Enough, of, enough of the mushy. You look beautiful. I love all this turquoise thing going on. Because last week you put me in a corner and I feel a little self-conscious. I, I don't want to sit in the corner. Well, no, I'm in the corner. Never, no, never no, again. This is in the corner. And no black chairs for me either. Oh, because if you yes. Black. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just, Enough just, of that. Let's get on. I don't mind it. It looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like the black too, but I get away. Okay. What are we going to start with? Shall we go to our wonderful little screen and yes, see what please. Leanna put this <laughs> yes. together? Wonderful job. Um, this is our first photo. Oh, yes. Which Ooh. will explain um, why we need a dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Why we need extractions. Why we need a facial. Why, Why we, we need, need to facials. see a doctor. What's the difference? Why we need to wash diver. our face daily. Yes. Why Every we need to day. So, skincare. And mm -hmm. So, yikes. That pustule. Woo! That's, that's, that Whoa. needs a doctor attention. You okay. In cases like, let, let's start it with some white hair. Okay. As we uh, see, we have a difference. Um, of clogged pores, obviously. Um, it started off with, you know, people have um, first start off with blackheads. Right. Very in the minimal clogged pores, mm -hmm. oil buildup, and that's uh, unintended things can get yeah. from bad to worse. And isn't it true that when people do wash and they do take care of their skin, they can still get blackheads, mostly sure. around the nose? Very uh, normal skin yep. behavior. Um, I have it, you have it. We How would they it. care for that? Um, you know, exfoliation. Uh, if it gets overwhelming, extractions. Okay. Um, Somebody know, asked products. me this week, and I thought, you know who you are out there. Um, <laughs> I, he said, you know, I wear stage makeup because he's an actor, and so he has to wear makeup. And yes. only around the nose is he getting a problem with blackheads. So he went to a doctor and the doctor gave him retin-A. Mm -hmm. It's a way of exfoliating. Sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, blackheads, it it's not black. It's I not told him black. not to it's do it oil, yet. It's oil buildup in our pores that because it's exposed, it right. gets darkened and it's more visible. It looks darker. But when you extract, it's not black. There's no buildup of right. ash or uh, black yeah. ink. Just a pore, right? It's a pore that is trapped. Or ooze naturally of um, sebum and that over the time that 
pore gets a little bit darker. Or the size of the pore, sometimes it's already um, large, and it just any t uh, makeup, any sunscreen, any skincare, or uh, nothing uh, at all. Just your skin in general produces that sebum. Right. So, the skin looks so I told him to come and have a facial with you That's to start. Right. Keep that open. Treat it, but in the summer with Retin-A, especially on the nose, oh, I thought, be because he goes out in the sun, mm -hmm. and I didn't want it to go really red, and then he looks like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, mm -hmm. and then, not yeah. that his doctor is wrong, but I don't think he realized just how much he went into the mm -hmm. sun. So I think that, that coming actually to cause pigmentation as well. Oh, right, yes. right. So I was worried about that. So we're going to start him off with a yeah. facial um, with you. And, and then sunscreen, at least. Sure. A very heavy-duty sunscreen. Mm -hmm. If you're using something uh, as irritating um, as retin-A, you have to wear some Right. Because then right. you're starting all right. kinds of problems. So then you've got whitehead, blackhead, papule. 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 And pustule. And, um, you'll, you'll get papules and pustules with dairy, eating a lot of dairy. Oh. And bacteria. And bacteria. bacteria. Well, the inflammation, mm. it usually occurs around the jaw. So papules you'll notice around the jaw, and um, it's usually di diet related. Right, and keeping awesome. your phone clean and things like that. No, yeah, if you're the on your phone, phone, the phone, I don't see people clean. Pillowcases. Right, I'm hormonal a big one for that. Changes. Mm -hmm. Hormonal changes. Hormonal changes. Yep. Um, so, satin silk pillowcases are good, aren't they, for your hair because you don't need to wash are. your hair as much. And cooling in the summer. Yeah, time. I like it on my skin. Yes, I do too. Mm -hmm. I like how it feels. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe we should you. get some pillowcases to give away to patients when they come in. We used to do that, remember? Oh, actually, that's a good yeah. idea. Would you like that? Would, would you, you like pillowcases? Would you like pillowcases? I think that that would be yes. a yes. fun yes. thing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I think I'll do I that mean, again. I'll sign up I for know. that. I, I think I'll do that again when we give <laughs> silk, silk or satin pillowcase away. All right, so that's addressed there. What can they do at home if they don't come and see you? What is the typical routine for cleaning a face at night? I know mine, but it might not be right for everybody. So what is Everybody it? has different needs. This is, we're just giving you examples of what people can deal with. Um, at home care, it's for normal to, you know, normal skin. And that's not so easy to get normal skin. People have some kind of issue. Either their skin is irritated, because it's dry, because mm -hmm. it's oily, it's uh, unbalanced. So finding that balance is the So key. that's the pH level in mm -hmm. the skin, right? That's no, what no, qualifies it being normal. What, your what skin qualifies is. normal? Skin that, is, skin that it's nice, smooth, doesn't have any issue, right. doesn't have oily patches, doesn't have any dry patches, that's a normal skin. Okay. So when you're dealing with something, that skin needs a special attention. Mm -hmm. Is it dry? Is it oily? Is it red? Is it stingy? We wake up with everyday different skin, I feel like. Yeah, because I don't use the same things all Every the time. Day. Sometimes sure. I don't even need a moisturizer when I go sure. to bed. I just don't Your need skin it. Your skin is so. not really oily without yeah. putting yeah. in a moisturizer. But there are patients that do have oily skin and they're sure. like, well, I'm naturally oily. I don't need a moisturizer but they're producing a lot of oil mm -hmm. because their skin is actually dry. Right. Mm -hmm. But so you want to keep it nice and clean. You don't want to yeah, over dry yeah. it. You just want to keep it a clean nice because those kind of toner, things are happen. Cleanser, toner, moisturizer at night. Cleanser, toner, sunblock in the morning is crucial. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. an Every average. Day. That's what everybody should do, yeah. incorporating eye creams as well. Mm -hmm. yes. Let's not let's neglect the eyes. My one important thing, and I'll ask you what yours is, I have a stack of face towels under my sink huh. and I have one clean face towel every night that I get hot 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 and I put it on my face and then I finish with cold water. What's your one thing? Exfoliation. Do you I do that every day? Every day. Oh, every really? night. Yes. I use okay. different type of exfoliant to keep my skin. I may be <laughs> certain age but I make sure that my skin is like two days old. Yeah, it looks yeah. two days old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we call we the hate. most. <laughs> What's your one thing? <laughs> I'm pondering right now. <laughs> thinking about it. Hmm. Well, my it. new thing is um, I've actually been using ice as a toner to shrink my pores. Ooh. Mm. Nice. I've been using ice. Um, I've been washing my face with um, an exfoliating sh 
soap. Yep. Reducing my vitamin C on my face because that caused me to break out vitamin C. So just a little bit, not just a, a lot. little bit. Yeah. Not excessive and timing, amounts. And timing. Maybe and timing. it's too hot for your skin to use. Right, right. right. It's, it could be fine a few months later. So it's, it's finding that balance that I'm trying to mm -hmm. talk to you about. That finding timing for every product I, because we have so many choices. And I don't yeah. want to scare our patient that mm -hmm. we suggest something mm -hmm. uh, wrong for their skin type. It's reacting because of the weather, because something is happening. I mean, every Time week you're, you have a different hormonal activity. Mm -hmm. One week you're fine, one week Come you're sweating. Come back to vitamin C when you feel yeah. like you're calming down. Exactly. And it's, timing. and it's not as hot. But is there one so particular regimen that you, you do every day? No, we always to change it up. Like the BRA pore yep. strips. I use that occasionally because exfoliation doesn't help. I can't use it, it rips off my nose. Really? It, off but it's my, yeah. it doesn't rip off mine, <laughs> I love it. Because you're a little baby. But, <laughs> we'll see what I mean. <laughs> Clearly. My one thing is my face towels. Okay. 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 So, <laughs> so BRA. All right. So Mark, you're keeping the eye on the time, right? Thank you. I see on the door. Okay. Ooh. Here we go. Oh. So what do you say about that? That was my skin when I was in my 20s and that's what that's what I mean by I dealt with um, um, just I don't know what it was I just woke up like that and I start picking on it and I made a better worse so when Liana pulled out that picture that was like wow yikes I remember that and how this happened and when it happened I don't know I just knew that I was perfect um, at covering that up so nobody will see it Mm. So people thought that I had a perfect skin, but yet underneath, yeah, I was dealing with that. You can Ooh, tell that, that the patient has hurts. even dry patches on yeah. behind her yeah, ears. Yeah, because you use products that are like retinoing, yeah. over drying yeah. the yeah. skin, yeah. Yeah. and it's not really addressing the underlying issue, which is the sebum and oil production accumulated in the pores. This is where you dis you have to make a clear decision. I don't have a co control over my skin. Something is yes. happening yes. that I need help. Mm -hmm. The daily cleansing and doing mm -hmm. my over-the-counter thing obviously didn't work because it got me to this point. Yeah. So that's what I was like, okay, I need to see I think somebody. the most important <laughs> step is not picking your own acne. Oh, really? So oh, hard. That's the best mm -hmm. advice. It's so, so hard. hard. I mean... Yeah. I became a statistician because of it. Yeah, I was just going to say, this so is I where her love yeah, for helping I people came so from. so much because I saw it every single day. I couldn't just let it go. I it's funny because if you really pay attention, she also has spray tan on her face. That too is occluding her pores. Sure. Is that what those blackheads yep. are? Yes, that's those are that spray tan. Blackhead. Yeah. See, those blackheads unattended create the inflammation. Yes. Therefore, you're going to pick you on go. it. And it's like a vicious cycle that we will, will yes. you know, it's never going to go away by itself. Never. Oh God. You have to see well, somewhere. Let's see what else we have. Okay. But there's hope. There's oh, hope. Oh, look at that yeah. one. Well, this is fantastic. What a diagram. There's a lot going on beneath the surface. Oh, yeah. lot. <laughs> That's well. why it's such an individual uh, issue dealing with uh, skin, you know. Acne. Everybody skin different. It acts differently. Mm -hmm. So you I deal with the their epidermis. Lucy deals with, with the dermis. epidermis, dermis, <laughs> hyperdermis. Yeah. What's the hyperdermis more? Is that all there? Does that go that low or no? Uh, oh, yes, yeah. it does. Well, almost because that's where your SMAS layer right. is located. That's where Doctor Leaf lives. That's, in the that's surgery room. right there. Yeah. yeah. You <laughs> can find me more in the dermis and the epidermis. Yeah. Me, I, I do epidermis. So tightening, I use usually for the dermis. So in here? Yes. Okay. And the epidermis, I do more like pigmentation. So Maya lives and here. And oh, yeah. Here, here, here. And then Dr. Leaf is down uh -huh. here. Mm -hmm. Or Dr. Iman and Dr. Armstrong. Because they deal with medication sometimes that can True. affect down to that right. point, right? Right, right. So that's amazing. They look like little worms and things. That looks like a neo. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. But it's amazing what goes on down there and what you guys can do for people that we don't see. That and we it's don't amazing know how uh, everybody's skin acts differently. We yeah. meant well for everybody that comes here. As, as we deal with our lovely colleagues, 
we're trying so hard to help her normalize her skin and it's not responding as well as we think. We have so many ideas for her, yet she's still very couch. Yeah. And, and it could um, be that that's pulling her. my hair yeah. um, to figure out what will we will benefit her. We will, we we will, will find we will. it. We'll find it's, it could be just this period of time as well, mm -hmm. you know, and then in six months, and she'll go, what was that about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, maybe it's active brain cells, that's why Maybe, so maybe, I think so. <laughs> all Something right. for us now. Hey, so this. Wow. Well, going back to this, the diagram, that you can see the, how deep the pigmentation is just by looking at it. Um, if it's more surfaced, you know it's more superficial. Look how it's kind of blurred into the cheek yes. and it's kind of lighter. That's actually a deeper pigmentation, it's much older. So let's say if you have early signs of pigmentation, it's better to address it when it's new and fresh versus waiting until it's this scenario. Well, then there is no going back, really. I mean, I don't think she neglected, um, it's just she just didn't know what to do when it probably came out at first. We she had a patient, do you remember, that had um, a CO2, mm -hmm. and then she did the Cosmolan. Oh, yes. And then her her pigmentation was getting worse and we couldn't figure it out and I said, hey, you're going to the infrared bed every oh, day. Yes. That's what I was going to bring up. And it was coming back worse. We were stumped. We could not figure out what is happening. I actually asked her if she goes yeah. to infrared. Yeah, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. And I would see Did her. Did she disclose it in the yes. beginning? No, she no. didn't. See? She was, yeah. it was in conversation. We were just talking about infrared wraps and I'm like, oh, I love infrared. She's like, I love it too. I go daily. I'm like, honey, that's why your melasma is <laughs> coming back. Yeah. So please be honest. When you mm -hmm. come to see the providers, let us know. It's for your benefit. If you let us know what you're actually doing, mm -hmm. instead of wanting to get that treatment so badly that you'll say, no, I haven't done it, thinking. Mm -hmm. Or you forget. You can genuinely forget. Oh, well, I did that spray tan two weeks ago. Whatever it is. Let the providers know because you will only exacerbate, I can never say that word, exacerbate, yeah, exacerbate. exacerbate. <laughs> the situation because then it becomes, but we're all American. <laughs> yeah, we are American, I mean, but we all have accents. <laughs> but I think that you need to be honest because yes. that can be very frustrating. Yeah, yes. I know it's frustrating like for Dr. Lee. simply don't connect a, a, the problem with yeah. it. They don't think yeah. that uh, heat is related to pain. Yeah. That's simply, they just um, don't that's know. the reason. They don't know. Yeah. Sometimes don't even if they don't, let's say they come to me and it's an acne treatment, and I treat them and address the acne, but afterwards they go into the sun and all of a sudden they have pigmentation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's dormant true. pigmentation. Though That's all the unhealthy skin that's sur surfacing and it's supposed to slough yeah. off. It's actually now more susceptible of sun damage, and you're causing even further and deeper damage to the skin, which may not be completely correct. Yeah, well, because be melasma correct. never goes away. It's always underlying. You can keep it from the surface, but it's there. If you it's have melasma, it's there forever. You but you can keep it hidden. It's your it's pigment. pigment. It's, your it's, pigment. it's part of your DNA. I mean, I think even pigmentation, for example, this severe, it's mm. kind of it's pigment memory right so it right. let's say if That's we completely heal the skin they will still have some pigmentation surfacing mm -hmm. it may not be the next day it may be six months mm -hmm. from now but you still need to maintain treatments yeah, yeah. i know we my girlfriend does we have uh, ways to control yeah. the pigmentation all right oh here's a one side treated before and the treated. other side, wow. Healthy and damaged skin. Unhealthy skin versus healthy skin. She should change her mascara. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> old mascara, never use old mascara. But that is quite How dramatic. How can you tell it's old? Is it's kind of lumpy and yucky. <laughs> oh, I just want something We're new. looking at the skin, Makeup. so um, <laughs> but my hair. eye goes to the clumpy mascara. Can't help it. Okay, ooh. Rosacea. Rosacea, I had this. When I was younger, and IPL treatments galore yes. helped me, and then of course I laser and do whatever. But what is? Are they born with this? Is this weather it's, induced? Is it? It's genetic. Okay. It's genetic, and also aging and sun exposure also help and can cause broken capillaries. 
Depends on the patient's skin, the skin type. The lighter, the fairer the patient, the more susceptible they are to form broken capillaries mm. on the face. Mm. So it's actually a mild case of ac rosacea is a mild case. It's an, an acne form. Oh, it is. Okay. So um, we treat it with IPL by targeting the capillary wall and destroying it, so it reduces blood flow. Okay. And reduces the appearance of redness as well as the broken capillaries. Okay. So it. Wow. And settings are determined in how deep the vessel is. So more than one treatment is required mm -hmm. and new vessels do pop up mm -hmm. unfortunately it's like a party and this is a bad case of it right because mine didn't look like that i was no. just flushed if i drank wine it was a decade away <laughs> i would be just right. red cheeked right. or if i when i exercise i would be redder than normal mm -hmm. like it because shouldn't have been that red type, it's very fair yeah, yeah. No but way now, skin. but now mm -hmm. when I work out, I just have a, I have a nice little glow. I'm not looking like you I'm about to You saw me the last time after infrared. You're like, yeah. what happens to your face? Yes. Well, that's what I used to look like. I was like, well, that's just me. It's uh, just the heat. I don't mean it like that. You no, it's like right. you were six years old and have been out on your bike. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> okay. <I'm not> <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so see, that's that was my rosacea. That's, that's your what rosacea. I looked like. Yeah. So, but she looks fantastic, doesn't she? Yes. I don't know what all the talk is about how bad she looks, because I think she looks fantastic. I think she looks great. So, I don't know what she did or what she didn't do, but yay, good for you. I think it looks fantastic. She just fantastic. stole my look and she pursing her lips. Definitely. She did. She's you would love to do that. Lips. Let's get a close up of Maya and her look. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> she would be Maya if I didn't get one photo a day of this. Okay. And. That's it. That's it. That's a wrap. Yeah. So it's not a wrap. We're still well, going to talk. Wrap about but we've got, um, oh, we're going to go yeah. back. I just want to go back to that because I think it's fabulous. Our Nikki and her daddy came up with this Sorry. little um, logo for us. It's over there. Mark, over there. Mark is holding the time. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Hi. 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 Hello. <laughs> oh. So yes, if we have any questions or anything that we can answer. Um, no. Do you want to um, do you want to show your you've got a patient yes that's been in there for half an hour we yes. have this new we have this new device so um, we have this new device called what's it called it's um, a CO2 it's a hydrogen I'm oh, right dome. it's the hydrogen O2. dome O2, O2. it's O2. an O2, O2 oxygen. machine and it's fabulous. You look like you're going to the moon, and people love it. I fall asleep. Or you just under came it. back from Mars. Yeah, uh, that's whichever it. Yeah. works for you. And I, I love to lay under there and fall asleep. Now we oh, have it for post-op patients, and we have it for post-laser. For Maya uses it if the patient wants to have this added onto their facial. So my I'm, patient had a fraxo with Lucy yeah, that's right. day, and she's a bit irritated, um, red. Mm -hmm. A little bit red, and um, her skin feels tight. She said, yeah. "So I put her for 25 minute treatment, and with a lot of serum." Mm -hmm. We timed it just right. Five yes. minutes, four seconds. Yes. So I'm going to get out of the way. So I'm going to go and start. Oh, are we taking a field yes. trip? We're, we're taking, taking a field trip. We're taking a field trip. Um, oh, I have I'm to jump off. off. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, okay. Hey, oh. Dr. Lee. Well, hello there. Dr. Lee is here. I still what are we you. doing? Uh, We're live. Say right, hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> we are going to check out our new... Oh, oh, hello there. Hello. 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 Well, hello there, darling. I have our patient here resting. Almost her treatment is almost over. How was how was your treatment? It feels so nice. Good. Mm -hmm. Did it help your skin? Yeah, I really. Okay, good. It. I'm glad. It's not so dry. No. It feels very nice. I made it. Super. Do, how do you like the oxygen blowing to your face? It feels nice. It's, it's gentle. soothing. It's, it's gentle. Soothing. We can actually control the the amount of oxygen versus hydrogen that's being released. And this is a great treatment to kind of equalize and balance the pH and help reduce inflammation. Personally, love this treatment. 
This is where I hide out down. anytime I'm exhausted and I just so awesome. need to relax. And you can um, add it to any treatment. Yeah. And that little yeah. machine behind Lucy got, has got all the bells and whistles and oh, things yeah. that are needed yeah, for your whistle. facial. So this is basically I'm pretending I'm doing own. a facial. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Lucy loves to live here and we invite all of you to come and visit. Yeah. This is my face actually after this. I did, did it yesterday. yesterday. Yes, we did it yesterday. Awesome. Your face tomorrow. will look like that tomorrow, babe. Yay. So let her rest a few more minutes and we'll see you later, I guess. Yeah. Are we done? So, no, I think we're going to go back. We're going back? Okay. Okay, we're going back to our seats. Close the surgery door. Oh, we're taking, I think, are we taking another door? No. Oh, I thought we were taking the center. Oh, we ran out of time. We ran out of time. So the okay. next week, we're going to go into the surgery center. Ooh. Next week, we will be talking to Dr. Leaf. We will be talking about facelifts. Uh, so if you have any questions, get ready to come on in and, and ask. Um, there are a lot of questions for facelifts, and Dr. Lee will show you. also show you some video um, from Cosmetic Town where they came in and they filmed a facelift actually. So we'll show you some of that, and um, we'll take another little field trip. I kind of like it. I love do you know what I want to do? Let us know what you think. Maybe we should go around the neighborhood. At least like next door to Blushington or to Sauna Bar. I was trying to remember the name. Blushington. Yeah, Blushington so is so yeah. fun. It's new and it's got makeup and what have you. And I think they're doing a special right now where you get the free makeup. Then, dry Bar? Yeah, it's Dry like, Bar. And then there's oh, Sauna yes. Bar, which we love. I That's the infrared nice sauna. Such a there. Oh, I go there three times a week and it's amazing. So we'll take a little field trip. Maybe my son will do the drone. And he can follow us with the drone. We'll cause a little. We'll cause a little um, chaos oh, and with Brentwood Beauty Buzz. Like, who are these, who are these people? Who and are have some these fun. Women? Anyway, so let's hashtag us. We've got Lucy dot B dot Beauty. We did this. I'll get back to this. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's good. It's Lucy dot. No, it's it's done, isn't it? Lucy dot. Oh, yes. B, B dot beauty. beauty. I love it. Lucy B Beauty. Lucy and B then beauty. Maya's at advanced dot yeah. skincare dot Brentwood. Okay. And you can ask questions from Maya. So it's advanced dot skincare dot Brentwood. And then of course we're on ASC. And then on Facebook I'll be putting this on um, advanced skincare and Dr. Norman Leaf. And of so, course call Liana. Uh, and call Liana. Three one two, one two three one. Yeah, no, it's three one zero three one two. Yes, one, two, three, one. that's what I said. Did you say the three one zero? I didn't yeah. hear you, Lucy. I think <laughs> I need some water <laughs> now. At least we're not having tea today. We'll have a tea later on. We know we're not getting away with it. Um, okay, okay. so please join <laughs> us. We would love to hear your questions. Hashtag replay share. Come on in. If you come in and mention Brentwood Beauty Buzz, we do give you 10% off. So please come in, mention Brentwood Beauty Buzz, that's where you saw us, and you'll get 10% off. We will have prizes next week. I know I said that from last week, but we will have prizes next week, and we'll keep you posted. So from all of us here at Brentwood Beauty Buzz, thank you very much for joining us. Come back again next week at 10.30. Take care, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.